to the house and I am so impressed by how it looks. Like it looks so nice. I feel like I knew it was gonna look nice because obviously like this place we definitely paid a pretty penny for, but well, I wouldn't say pretty penny because actually it really wasn't like expensive. At least I don't feel like it was. Like it was like 600 something dollars a piece, but it was for the whole week or like Monday through Friday. And this house has eight bathrooms six bedrooms multiple balconies and it has like this huge jacuzzi that's like built into the um um like what's it called like the floor of the uh balcony it's crazy like this whole house is just so so nice also there's so many like windows so you get like tons of natural light so i'm really excited um there's also fireplaces in pretty much every room and it's just gonna be really fun we just made an instacart order um so i decided to well i guess i didn't decide but like we decided to order from instacart instead of going to walmart this year in the past we like did a walmart trip and that was so so time consuming we would always get up here so late because it took so long to like pick everything out and then bag everything up and then take everything in unbag it and like this way it was just so much easier we ended up actually getting to the house at four and i feel like it was so much like less work we we're less tired we we're more relaxed so now we're literally about to um just like go upstairs and hang out while we're um in our pajamas and i love that vibe i feel like i don't know the older i get the more i just want to like chill and i feel like it's so nice to be around people who also kind of like want to do the same thing i also feel like um the second the sun starts to set i'm just like so over being like out and about these days i don't know what it is maybe just because i've been so busy lately and just like overwhelmed like with the rentals i don't know if i told you guys we actually have um six more units which is great because obviously it's like more um you know income and stuff but it's also definitely more work for brady and I feel like I don't really take on that as much um, because he like does a lot of that. I do more of like picking out like the decor and stuff. So like that for me, I feel like isn't as taxing as um, dealing with like the day to day like bills, like, you know, making sure that like our office space is like paid and like whatever and making sure people like pay rent on time. We do have a manager, which is nice. So he like covers a lot of that stuff. Um, I don't know if I actually told you guys this. I don't really remember if I did um but we have a additional business called gold door and we manage other people's rental properties along with our own and we have like a full-time manager that we hired um and so we have 36 doors of our own but then we also manage other people so i don't know how many are under gold door right now but anyway that definitely takes on so much extra time um and i feel like i feel that at home um because the busier that we are like the less time that we have for each other and so whenever i go on vacations now i feel like i'm more just i don't know just want to like relax and stuff um whereas before all i wanted to do when i was on vacation was just like go 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 like the whole trip um i definitely don't want to do that i'm really excited to like hang outside this balcony let me show you guys what it looks like this is my balcony and my view you can see that the sun is starting to set and i feel like we're on the sunset side which is nice or maybe we're not i can't really tell um but it is such a nice view and then there's these chairs here so i can see myself getting up in the morning uh, maybe drinking like a coffee or a chai or something right here and then just like relaxing um i feel like this will be a really nice space for my relaxing morning this is my bedroom and i'm gonna just unpack everything of course the first thing i had to take out was a book i'm reading I'm reading better than the movies and i'm about um halfway through i'd say actually a little bit more than halfway um i think yeah because it's 356 so um yeah a pretty good amount through it's really cute so far and this is my bathroom um it's really pretty i love the shower it's super big and it has like a separate toilet space Doesn't seem so long ago. Now 
sitting here bored at home And it really got me thinking of the times we took off on the road I can't remember where we headed that night We were cruising around town in Memphis Running the lights I just know how it felt I won't forget that Windows down and open top But we were clever not to take it too far Though it's hard not getting tempted There's just something so refreshing about hanging out with like a bunch of women who I don't know are just like willing to be like open and vulnerable and I don't know. This trip has been so fun. I uh have stayed up so late and I'm gonna read for a little bit, but I'm definitely going to bed because we have a yoga instructor coming um tomorrow and he's coming at 10 o'clock and i woke up so early today so i really need to get some sleep tonight i'm so tired my fireplace it says overheated on it so i don't know if it's actually going to work tonight or not but i also don't know if it's safe to leave the fireplace on like as you go to sleep you don't know it's like a like a fake fireplace Now that I'm in bed, I truly just want to figure out this fireplace. Like the fireplace, it says it's overheated, but I haven't turned it on. So I don't know like what the deal is and if it's gonna like blink all night or what. But I want to turn it on because it's kind of cold in here. Um, and the blankets aren't like super thick, which is probably because, actually I don't really know why, because it's not like a hot climate. Maybe because there are fireplaces in each room. So you don't need to like have like a ton of blankets, but either way, um, it's a little cold also i am so dehydrated and i think my skin is probably the worst it's ever been because i just came from a super hot ish area like not hot hot meaning like you know a million degrees hot but like a warmer climate like arizona and vegas and i didn't drink like any water and this is a reminder to you guys drink water you don't realize how big of a difference it makes on your skin and your energy and i definitely didn't either i literally used to be the person who would drink maybe eight ounces a week like i'm not kidding like eight ounces a week and i think um that's a big part of why i used to wake up like bloated every morning my body was just like literally deprived and just like probably um so dehydrated all the time and now i'll drink two of these a day so a full gallon but I didn't do that in Vegas or in Arizona and my body like I can feel it so much my skin feels very like like even though I keep moisturizing it it doesn't feel like soft it kind of feels almost like I don't know it just feels like not very good and like using my skin just feels like super soft and I um also feel like i have way more energy when i drink water and when i don't i like am, get so tired so fast and so yeah i almost feel like hungover like you know all the like effects of feeling hungover i feel like i get all similar feelings when i'm not drinking water so yeah drink your water i actually have a code for this water bottle um i think it's shaughnessy 15 but this water bottle is only 15 dollars. so like with the code i'm pretty sure it's like I don't know 12 or something like that but it has these little markers on it and it says 9 a.m 11 1 3 5 and 7 what i like about this is there's a little button so it pops up when you push the button but there's a lock on the side so when you push the lock and pop push the button it doesn't pop up so i can like throw it on the floor i can like throw it around like and that's like makes it easy to take with me places i can put it in my purse um or i could hang it on my bag um because it has this little hang tag so it just makes it easy to like carry a lot of water i feel like a lot of the other like half gallons or full gallons are just like so bulky and like ugly and this is cute and they have tons of other colors too so it just makes it easy it's like a circular um like small ish like i mean this is half a gallon it still is like relatively small um so i don't know i just really like it so definitely grab it if you guys haven't already i have this and i also have um 
another water bottle from Elo that I use. But I use this one more because I like to like track that I'm like finishing either a gallon or half gallon. But I think the other one is nice if I am just like going somewhere like for a short time, like if I'm going to the gym um, and I know I'm not in that hour gonna finish a full half gallon. Sometimes I'll just bring that if I'm just going there and back. But if I'm gonna be out like for the full day, I for sure bring this. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And what are you doing here? You're allowing your spine an opportunity to just kind of breathe and chill out. Take a nice inhale. From here, I'm going to start to let my head fall back, let my hips go forward, and look behind me. Look behind me. Good, good, good. Thumb back to the thumb. That one's tougher. Go ahead and swan dive now. All right, fold. The goal of any of this is simply to open the chest. So however you get there is how you get there. I want your head to fall back. Close your mouth. Breathe through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Your arms up. Big breath in. Exhale, press your hips forward. Look behind you. If you want to challenge yourself a little more, let's extend that right arm out and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Hand down, leg down. 
just got done with our workout. We've my just been sitting here for a minute and hanging out. Oh, I love Des. And Andrea. I don't know if I introduced you guys to everybody, but this is Andrea. And then Des. You guys know Alexis. And you guys know Des too. She was on the last trip. And Andrea, she was on the last trip. Uh, this is Cameron. <laughs> And then Octavia over there, eating her noodles. Eating her noodles. <laughs> and then um, Renee's over there. And we just finished our workout. It was really nice, super relaxing. Um, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do tonight. We're, we've just been sitting talking about the industry for a while. Um, it's nice, I feel like, when we can get together and talk about the industry because, like, we have a very unique experience, I think, like as black women and also like living in lots of different places. I feel like we all have so many different similar experiences, but also different. So it's just really nice. It's kind of like having coworkers almost because I don't like really have coworkers. Yeah, it's kind of like coworkers because <laughs> we don't have any. Um, so this is my set from Set Active. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and shower. I haven't showered yet today, so I need to go shower. I think tonight we're gonna go to the National Park and hang out out there for a bit, maybe at sunset. Um, we also talked about going to like maybe a winery or like doing some kind of like, um, uh, what'd you say, line dancing maybe? Yes! Yeah. She wants to do line dancing, um, so maybe we'll do that. We just There's a lot of options. The lady who came for yoga, she was telling us all the stuff that we could do. And she was like, yeah, just like go down the strip, park by Anakista, and then like you can literally just walk and go to like a ton of different places. And she was saying that Gatlinburg, I guess, is the second most popular place for, like in the like world, I guess, or not the world. I don't know, that's excessive, but second most popular place in like, I don't really know, but she said that it's very, very popular and um, people come here for bachelorettes, they come here for weddings, so there's like tons of stuff to do. And yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna um, probably go shower and then um, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit after I. Yeah, thanks for doing the dishes though. Oh, they are after the food. I think that's I think that's I think that's Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah. Just let me know. Okay. I just hit something. I don't know why. It's my channel now. So we need to. The lighting is so good right I know. It's because of the freaking sun right there. What do we line dance? Do I tequila? Last day, Thursday, line dance? Oh my gosh, yes. Right? I'm down for line dancing. That'd be fun. Have a lovely taco Sunday. And this round, right, we're gonna go line dancing. Okay? Got it? Oh, so we're gonna grill then go line dancing? Yes, we're grilling for lunch. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey. Hey. Just got out of the shower and I actually feel incredible. It's crazy how much like showering can just make you feel better, especially when you're on your period. I know I shared like my journey with like trying to heal my body on my period and stuff in like some of the older videos and I don't know if I gave you an update, but like I am a million times better. Um, I still have a very heavy period, so I definitely need to like go in and like get checked for that, but the cramping is pretty much non-existent and I think I told you guys in the past what I do but I drink a gallon of water I drink AG1 which has 75 vitamins minerals and um, like veggies and stuff in it like all of your servings that you need I also um, what else do I do I take VU supplements so like vitamin C or vitamin D if I feel like I'm feeling low especially in the Midwest when it's like you know winter and stuff um, I also will um, not work out. I stay home and I don't even like really go on walks. I really just like chill. I'll take like do yoga sometimes, but that's pretty much it. I'm just very, very like low intensity on my body. I read, I have lots of like slow days after work. Um, I don't really make like tons of like stuff on my schedule. Um, I also, I think the biggest thing that's helped change my like period pain is the water, the AG1, and my diet. 
I have taken out on my period only because I don't think I could ever keep up with this like all the time. But I pretty much only eat like salads and like fruits and stuff. So in the morning I'll have like a fruit bowl like I did today. For lunch I had a salad with fruit on it um, and dressing. And then in the evening I will also probably have a salad but it'll be a different kind of salad. Um, I will probably put smoked sausage in it. It's probably the only thing that I'll put in it um, just because I like get kind of tired of salads but if I'm like I don't know feeling like the cramps are gonna come on or anything like that like I feel you know you can just kind of feel like they're coming um like you get like a little pain in your back like if I feel like that I will literally strip to, stick to only salad and fruit um and water it is very hard to like cut out meats sugars um to cut out like fried foods or anything like that but it has made all the difference and I feel like if I can like get away from having super like painful like bent over just feeling like i'm gonna die periods then it's worth it so that's what i did today i also did buy a peating pad just in case because i know we're gonna drink because i do cut out alcohol whenever i'm on my period but we're gonna go to a winery and i don't like want to not be included in that so usually what i do to kind of offset is i will just drink even more water than a gallon um which is gonna be hard to do because we don't like we're not gonna be home as much so We'll see, but yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna read for a little bit. We're gonna leave and go to this little like nature, um, what's it called, uh, like park thing. And I'm really excited to go like see um, what it's like. It's only like 15 minutes from here. And then I think we're gonna go and like pick up some tequila and stuff. We're gonna have like a little taco night, girls night tonight. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do a little bit later. Everyone's kind of like working on stuff right now, showering um, after yoga and like just hanging out. Um, we all still have work to do, so we don't really get to take like full vacations, especially because so many of us don't have like assistance or anything like that. We're literally just like, it's just us. So if there's like a deadline or something, like you just have to get it done. So yeah, um, I have a little bit of work to do, but I do not feel like doing it right now. I think I'm gonna just do it later, um, just cause I just, I wanna read for a little bit. And I feel like I haven't gotten much time to read other than this morning. So yeah, let's head upstairs and read for a little bit. I have noticed about like being on vacation is that I actually miss being in the gym, which in the past I feel like I didn't really miss the gym. And I think it's because I didn't have a good community or I just was kind of like, cause you guys know I don't like working out. I was just kind of like, ah, like I'm over it. But I really actually miss it a lot of the time when I'm not um, in my gym. And I miss the community and like, when they're all doing their workouts and like I'm not there, I'm just like, oh, this sucks. Like, I wish I was there with them. So I guess it's like a good sign that I'm like with a good group of people. So since I've been in Vegas and Arizona, I literally haven't like worked out at all and I literally miss it. About to fill up this water bottle. Um, I'm almost at the end. I'm trying to finish the last little bit because I drink two of these a day. Mm -hmm. Bless you. They just keep getting, I'm looking out at like so many houses out here. They keep like building houses out here. And I feel like it's cause literally people are just like, wanna come here on vacation and I can see why. It kind of reminds me of like a, almost like a, like a, not small town, but like a Vegas, but more like Western-ish, if that makes sense. Um, I could definitely see like bachelor parties being like a good place to come like here. I will say one thing about drinking water a ton, you um, always have to like pee. I'm realizing that I'm getting this out of the sink and the last time I didn't get this out of the sink, so hopefully this like, hopefully this tastes okay. When I was in Vegas, I drank water out of the sink. It literally tasted like toilet water. Oh, that looks good. I feel like since I grew up drinking well water, like nothing can really be worse than that. So if for some reason this water is like bad and I like get sick from it, I don't know, I guess I'll know where to not drink water in the future, but I feel like I'll be fine. <sighs> Another thing also about drinking water is I feel like I get more full than like in the past when I wasn't drinking water, I would snack a lot more. Now I feel like I don't really snack as much. Like I haven't had any snacks um i had lunch and then well i guess i did have a granola bar right after yoga but i haven't had like anything else and usually like when i wasn't drinking water i was just like constantly like snacking like wanting nuts or like whatever um but now whenever i like 
I don't get the urge to put something in my mouth. I'm like, I'm gonna freaking drink my water. Oh my God, yes. Oh yeah. See, and I feel like I need this at home because this starts so fast. I used to do the, the, the little fire with the wood and stuff. It's too hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like it? No, this hurts now. I think. Well, actually, there is another outfit. Yeah. You look cozy. This is like perfect. We have to do this tonight. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is in there? No, I forget. No tacos. Oh, tacos. Okay. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Tequila. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We were talking about movies and like when I was a kid I wasn't able to watch PG-13 movies until I was literally 13 and I feel like I was the only one at least my friends like they're all like what the heck like you can't watch Mean Girls like because everything's PG-13 you know that's not like completely yeah. kid friendly yeah. so, so you never snuck you never snuck like, no I did I definitely snuck oh, okay. and then my parents would find out like oh, my mom was always like God told me oh, I'm like mm, how'd you really find out because <laughs> You thought you had to go and watch it. Right. Well, we didn't have like Netflix oh, yeah, and stuff, you know? So I'm like, literally, how'd you find out? So I don't know. Uh, my parents didn't know I was watching all that, but they knew I was watching. Like, I was able to watch like all the black classics. Okay, like, but nothing else. Was bad, like, you I can still watch it. it. They were like, okay. Did your on. parents like get strict about like what you wore or anything? Oh, yeah. I had to be careful about what I wore because I had like such a mature body. So mm -hmm. they were very, like, very careful. That was one thing that like. My mom was down to like no legs out stockings. Like I had to wear tights with everything. No legs? So you, in the summer you couldn't wear shorts? I could wear shorts, but like if it was like an event, like a dance or something uh -huh. at school, I couldn't wear like, like skirt. No leg. Like my legs could be out, but she would be like, you need to put stockings on. Oh my god. My, like, it was like a lot. My mom wasn't into red nail polish. She said red nail polish is her own. Yep, I remember my mom said that too. I couldn't wear red nail polish. I also remember one time when I was a kid. Um, I snuck out these like short shorts because my parents always said my shorts had to be past my fingertips and my to my knees. Were, my shorts were short. Yeah, right? mine were not. Mine were to my knees. Not you know, they're like, cute. Like yeah. so. They didn't like it. Like, they didn't want me to wear it, but I would walk with pretty short shorts. I remember one time I snuck a pair of like short shorts into my like bag. It was like a purse, and I was like, I'm going to Sonic with some friends, and I was actually going to Sonic, and I literally went. I'm like, why was I have, trying to be so fast at Sonic? You know, like, why is it that big of a deal? And so I took them out, and I, I don't know how my mom found out. Maybe I was wearing a bigger bag than normal, but she pulled up at Sonic. Like, she pulled up in front of, and this is probably like 30 kids, you know, just like oh hanging out at Sonic. Yeah, you know, it got nothing to do. No one's got a car, so they're getting dropped off, whatever. Or if you do have a car, you're bringing all your friends. She pulled up at Sonic, and I'm in these, like, I mean, my shorts had to be up my butt crack, like, so short. And she was like, get in the car now. I was like, oh, no. I'm about to be murdered, like, I'm about to die. So yeah, I got in so much trouble. And I was like, how'd you know? Like, how'd God you know? Told God told me. I was like, you? I don't know. <laughs> like, cause you know everything. Like, and at the time we didn't have like social media or anything. Like there was no, like people weren't even really using Facebook for real. You had to be like a college student to use Facebook, so. Which is yeah, so weird. Sure. Sure. Okay. It couldn't be, my mom didn't want me to look mature at all. Mm. Like what I had. Yeah. And I always wanted to look mature, but not grown. Like, I wanted right. to dress like fashionably. Yes. Mature, and I that's what, like, I feel like people were wearing, like, more, you know, tank tops yeah. and, like. It was like the fashion was a little bit more, you know. Mm hmm. But yeah, she was like, that's grown. Wow. <laughs> How was your mom, Renee? My parents were very strict for being They were strict too. Very, very strict. My mom with how I dressed sometimes, I feel like she would want me to wear the short stuff. Because <laughs> she was living like vicariously for me. Ah. Uh, she also grew up like really like sheltered. So she like she wanted was, you to have the experience she didn't yeah. have. Okay. But my dad and my brothers. Oh yeah, my brothers you know, say it's like my brother's like that's for sure. Yeah, or anything you're not. Yeah. Very strict. I mean, I would sort of do a lot. 
Mm -hmm. I was actually with a girl a lot of things and mm -hmm. hang out with my friends, sleep over people's houses. Mm -hmm. But it was just a clothes thing. It was a clothes thing. And I can respect my parents now, like looking back. Granted, there were some decisions I would still make that they made and some I probably wouldn't, but I can respect even the ones I wouldn't make, I can respect where they were coming from. Cause it's all like, they just care about your safety. So yeah, like, I get it. It was, it was just a safety thing. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't sleep over everybody's house. Same. Like, it was like certain people they didn't care. Mm -hmm. But it was like others, they're like, no. Like, did your parents, like, don't even ask. did they have a rule about like sleeping over friends' houses like multiple times a week or something? Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, I couldn't do it multiple yeah, times. Yeah, I couldn't either. But I, see, that's, that's one thing I still don't understand. Like, so I I get like the school like don't you can't do it on school night whatever but I remember on the weekends like one friend would be like hey can you stay over on a Friday and then she'd be like okay well if you stay there on a Friday you can't stay on a Saturday and we had family family Friday nights so like my parents would like get pizza like we all we were all supposed to be home on Friday but I'm also homeschooled so I'm like oh, I'm home awesome. I'm always <laughs> home so like I got two days that I can like and then Sunday's church so like I got two days out of the week to like go somewhere. So like, don't take it away. Um, but if hypothetically, let's say like someone asked me on a Friday, they're like, okay, well if you go tonight and like miss family Friday or whatever, you can't go on Saturday. I'm like, why? Like, why can't I stay somewhere else's house on a Saturday? So I didn't really understand that. I still don't really. Maybe they just wanted more family time. I don't know. I, I don't know, my parents are the same way. Just, you couldn't like, do that either. One. Yeah, it's like you pick one. Like, yeah, like, you know, I don't like, pick, pick one. Like, like, why pick one though? Like, I don't. Maybe they just wanted us to. I don't know. They probably knew that we weren't gonna be friends with those people later on in life anyway. So maybe they were just like. I mean, I guess, I don't know. but. Really? No, I was always a person that like I was very comfortable with my family, but mm. sometimes being away from my family. I'm you miss them. Like, I was on, no, not that. Oh. It's just comfortability. <laughs> like, it's like, I'm just not comfortable at the front of the house. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't be comfortable there. Yeah. So, it's like, I just want to sleep in my own bed. Like, yep. I was like yeah. that a lot. I would sleep at other people's houses. Like, it would be fun. Mm -hmm. But, like, two nights, I'm like, I'm going to go back to my own pillow. Like, I feel like <laughs> because I was homeschooled, that's where I was, like, I was just, like, itching. I'm just like, okay, I've been in this house, like, literally all week. I was always week. out the house. Like, when I was yeah. a kid, I was out a lot. Like, I was... Either at like my own dance classes, mm -hmm. my brother's basketball. Oh, I, I forget that you dance. Yes, yeah, so I was always out all the time. Like, and I was my parents weren't one of those people that like they couldn't go anywhere. Like, I used to hang out with my dad all the time. Like, he would go to his friend's house, mm -hmm. and I would just go. Like, it used to be I was like my dad's sidekick. I would go with him everywhere. Like his friend's house, his to the store when he was working on home improvements. So I was always at the house, like all the mm -hmm. time. If my mom was going somewhere, I'm like, oh, I'll go. Like I wasn't that kid that wanted to be inside. Yeah. So he, if she's going to the store, I mean, down to doctor's appointments, I'm like, I'll go. Oh, I'll, sit, I'll, I'll sit in the office. Yeah, like, I'll like, go. I just wanted to be out. Just to get out, yeah. Things and like be out and about with people. It's like, funny how it is. Like, I feel like as kids, we really, like I was like that too. I'm like, oh, like I'll go to the grocery store. Yeah, like, I just to go everywhere. Yeah, if my dad was running an errand, I'm like, I'm going. And it's like, now I'm like, I will literally pay someone to like <laughs> to go and do it for me. But like back then, like I wanted to go out with my brother. Like what I used to be, I wasn't all the time. You going to the mall? I'm going. Like going mm -hmm. to the courts? I'm going. Like <laughs> I want to go. So I was like always attached to like their hips and like going places and stuff. That just turned off. Yeah, I put a timer for 20 minutes because we were gonna leave at four. It's like 4:06. Four right? Yeah. <laughs> just drove up to the Ben Morton Overlook up here and it is really pretty. We wanted to come up around the sunset. They have all the history that's here and I don't know, I think it's really, <laughs> I think it's really cool. Um, I don't know, just like learning the history of places like this. And oh my God, how cute. It says Abby and Daddy, Travis and Colt. Um, there's so many different like names and stuff. How cute. Oh my gosh. I love these. I kind of want to write my name up here. Mother and daughter trip 2022. Candace and Cody. I don't know why I love stuff like this. I just think it's so cute. And this is the view. You can't really see it because the sun, but I'll try to zoom in so you guys can see it. Um, the sun's going to set in a little bit, so then you'll be able to see it better. But I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see and literally the road's down there and it is like we're way high up. <laughs> like, it's 
so pretty up here. Sun is starting to set down here and it's so pretty. I feel like whenever I'm out here, I really wish that I lived in an area with mountains because I feel like I'd be out here. <gasps> Oh, it's just a bird. Oh my god, I thought it was like a mouse. I'm deathly afraid of mice. Um, but I just like always feel like if I lived out in a place like this, I would come out so much. You can see the sun is setting, it's starting to go down. And, like the pinks are coming out and like the yellows and the blues. The sun's like setting up over there. But I just, I don't know. I always feel whenever I come out here, I would like read or like, I don't know, just like be out in nature so much more. But then I guess it's like, it's easy to feel like wherever you're not is better than where you are. So I really just need to start going on nature walks in our, my own town more, because we do have a lot more that I like never been on. So that's what I'm gonna do when I get home. I'm gonna appreciate my own area and like learn how to love the nature that's there. If I already have it, I don't appreciate it. First, if I see a trail, I feel like I have to go down it, see what's over here. Really isn't much, but it's still like cool over here. I love seeing the trees and stuff. I don't know, I just can't, literally can't get enough of it. Like, I don't know. Oh, I'm trying not to break my neck, oh my God. talking about reminders of him and Colleen Hoover books and Verity and um, The Ends With Us and she re said she read It Ends With Us and you're still reading it right? I have like 30 pages left. Okay, it so took me five to get what's your personal opinion? Because I don't, like that's I think my least favorite book of hers no, out of all of them. not Where's that one? good. It Ends With Us. Oh, okay. The I one know. that popped off yeah. on the internet. Okay. I genuinely don't care for this storyline at all. Something about it isn't like speaking it's because to me. I feel like it's glorifying someone who is literally like abusive. Oh wow. Like I Ryle like is like, well, for have me, you got to I feel like it's, yeah. It's <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No, I, was like, I did I like, like it's like, I don't like the way this story was told. I feel mm. like the way her other books were like reminders of him, I just it was like it was the way that it was story one was story almost. Whereas the other one, I feel like ends with us goes back in time. Too. It goes back in time. When then you I get Ellen's like, letters. That and was like, weird. Oh, so and then up. like I. <laughs> I couldn't get oh, with that. That was right to Ellen. <laughs> and then I felt like with reminders of him, it was like, I liked the back and forth between the two characters. Like one yes. chapter was the girl talking, one chapter was the guy yes. talking. Like you kind of had to figure out like who exactly is this like, you know, point of view from. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I really liked that. Mm -hmm. I and cried. I, thought, I bawled like no, a baby for that book. Me too. Like literally I was like, oh. I was so into that book. Like I just was crying. I was just so emotional about it. It, I, it really mm -hmm. connected me to the character. I think if you read Verity, you'll like it. It's her only like thriller-ish book, but there's also love in okay. it. And the ending is like a huge twist yeah. and like, it's popular, but actually for a reason. I think okay. It Ends With Us only got popular because like someone on TikTok was like, read it. And then people were like, oh, read it. But I think sometimes people forget just because a book is an easy read doesn't mean it's a good it's book. It's a good book. There's a, this book that popped off. It's called, um, like flowers, it's like a blue book with like flowers on it. Um, ah, was it the second one? It starts with that. No, it's not one of her books, it's like by a different author. Oh, I don't know um, that one. I forget, it's literally you. I'm sure you see it's called Things We Never Got Over. That's what it's called. Oh, I thought um, like I, I saw that. Before. Yeah, it's like blue and it has like a bunch of blue flowers mm -hmm. on it. That book popped off, but I read it and hated it because I feel like it glorified a freaking, like the guy's like so controlling, like she would be like, oh I wanna do this, and he'd be like, you're not doing this, and like throw her over her, his shoulder and like carry her inside, be like, oh my god, like he's so protective, like so hot, yeah. <laughs> like that's not hot at all. You should check and see how close yeah. that thing is. Um, but oh, the wow. writing, yeah, right here. But the writing is minutes. so easy. Okay, let's go. It's literally straight, like straight. Okay, let's do it. We're already down. But the writing is so easy. I feel like that's why people like that's it. That's why people like it. And but so it's they're like, oh, it's a good, good book. No, it's just, no, it just because a book is easy to read doesn't mean it's a good book. It ends with us is not that good. Agreed. I'm sorry. Okay, I have to show you. I have to show you guys this. Look at this. It's so cute. Like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. It's such a cute little town. Anyway. I feel like. I'm glad I'm, someone else feels this no, way. Yeah, you're not. Have alone. you read it yet? No, I haven't. Have you read any of her books? No, no, I haven't. <laughs> He's the biggest reader in high school, and like you should read. Okay, and I read Verity. Like okay, I, start with that. I'm and so reminders serious. Of him. Reminders, reminders of him is, is good that too. That's the one you guys are talking about. That's good. That's the one we yeah. love. Yeah, we cry. 
Mm. Literally Bye. cried, and you'll read it so fast. I the reason Colleen so Hoover's popped off is because her writing. You can read it. It's almost written like a YA novel. Do you? Oh, we're going there. Um, it's written like a YA like novel for like kids almost, but yeah. it's for adults, so it's a super easy read, which okay. is why it gets backlash because people are like, oh, it's like you know, yeah. like dumb or like whatever. But I don't know anything that gets you into reading or me into reading or whoever. It's like. It's a good right, it's good. Stuff. Yeah. They're good books. I just feel like it ends okay, with us. Start, guys. Oh. It ends with us. I don't know. I, I feel like they didn't glorify him because I I feel Did you like finish it yet? Not yet. Okay. I feel like wait till you get to the end and I wanna hear what you okay. what you think. Because I feel like the ending I feel like if someone's abusive in every book or most books, you should like be like send a message like hard cut off, like we don't talk well, to this person that's again. Not reality. But that's why she's not doing that, which I don't disagree with. I, I feel like she's, it's from her point yes, of view. Yes, it is from her point of view, but I feel like, and once you get to the end of the book, like you'll kind of see, I feel like if you think the person should stay, like stay with someone who's abusive or whatever, I think that the writer should write them in a way that isn't necessarily endearing. I feel like to the end okay. of the book, Ryle is written like, even though he literally abuses her, at the end of the book he's like written like he's still the hero and I feel like he should mm. kind of be for the reader, because even if we're like, okay, you shouldn't stay with him, we should feel like he's a bad guy, but I feel like at the end we still feel like he's a good guy and it's like almost like she's making us feel bad for him still. yes and so then it's yeah. like y girls who are like in abusive relationships if they read something like that they're gonna be like oh i feel bad like and she did say the book was written after her mom because and she oh. wanted she wanted her readers to understand why women stay with abusive men so and her mom i guess got abused okay. by men and so they stayed I think she's doing a great job she is she's story. making you love ryle but i just wish at the end she had made it a little bit more like like, even if she decides to stay or whatever, like, at least make Ryle look like a bad guy. And in the second book, she does, and it starts with us. Like, okay. Ryle, he, she still, like, doesn't have feelings for him, but she kind of, like, still gives him grace. But he's just written in a bad way. Like, he's written in a way that you don't like him. Okay. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. I just get, I get hot about that book because people are like, oh, my God, Ryle. No, definitely the movie comes not Ryle. Like, definitely not. We love Ryle. No. I just don't, I don't know, something about the way the story was written. I just. The letters to Ellen killed me. I don't, the letter, that was so weird. Like, why like, are you, what do you writing mean to Ellen? Writing to Ellen. Like, she, Wait, it Ellen was just who? to, like, the Ellen DeGeneres yes. thought. Yes. Yeah, like she, Ellen. She, like, writes, it's like her diary. She, like, like writes she to Ellen. She writes to Ellen. Like, that's, yeah, the, and I thought, like, that was very odd. Are we okay, close? We're um, yeah, like, we're, we're one minute away. Okay, I just was going to Oh, I think it's in this thing. Oh, is it? Okay. Cowboy. Cute! Spot cowboy to go. Way. Oh, it's right here. Cowboy will. Okay. Hats. I gotta put it. Oh, park. Oh, is that a bakery next door? Oh, I could get. I could go for some. Like, oh, there's parking. Look at this. Okay, we made it to the town. No, we did. I'm so hungry. Like, I don't know if the food's gonna be ready, but I will go in the subway right yeah, now. Yeah, me too. No, I'm, I'm like down. that hungry. I didn't even. I think I. Ate I will see you guys in there. Forgive us for all of our many sins. Mm. And yes, give us all grace. And I pray that the rest of the trip is amazing. Amen. 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 Oh. She's like, Amen. Not it's not right. Right. Oh, you said forgive us for our sins. Come on, prayer. Great. Debating on turning. Like, oh, I just Okay. Walk if it's too spicy for you, but the walk is spicy. Walk is. No, I can't. I'm like, too much for me. It's a chicken belly. <laughs> We're literally going <laughs> over the fire with alcohol. Like, <laughs> like no, I hope we should stop that. <laughs> uh, now you fuck up. Um, yeah, I went. No. Giddy up. Pass. Yeah, pass. Pass. No. Oh. Oh, uh. Yeah. Yeah, Why? you like dun 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 Yes! We're getting ready to learn Footloose because we want to try to go line dancing. So 
we're gonna literally watch a YouTube video and try to like figure out how to do it. We'll see. After every like meal everyone cleans up and we like no one's had to like ask or anything and it's so nice and I think it's because we're literally like grown and we're like you know we don't want to have to like tell someone what they need to be like doing or anything so it's just like very very nice um, I also feel like in all the trips is kind of like that but this one in particular um, like there's just all age ranges and I feel like we're just so like mature that I don't know it's just nice so we all like clean the kitchen together we take out the trash together uh well not together but you know what i mean um and i feel like sometimes in trips like it's like okay who's gonna do the dishes like who's gonna clean up or the house will just be like a wreck but we just don't do that so like octavia she made breakfast and she had like i think renee help her this morning so like since they did that it was just kind of like an unspoken thing we like, okay since they did that this morning we're gonna clean up so like i've been wiping down the counters um taking out the trash and then um other people are doing like other stuff with the dishes um we ran out of dish pods so i need to like order some more so i'll probably do that this morning but it's just this trip has been exactly what i needed i wish i could stay like even longer like we're already halfway through we only have one more full day tomorrow and then we go home and I just, I think I want to do another trip like this. Um, but another one that's in like a relaxed space like this. I feel like this vibe is what creates this atmosphere. It's very like homey, like connected, just a friendship vibe. Um, I feel like it would be hard to get that in another atmosphere. I don't know, this, it's just been really nice so far. Um, and I'm just loving the whole trip. Going into the office space because we have a little bit of work to do. Um, and it's nice, I have a cute little office space that kind of like overlooks where everybody's at. You can see everybody's down there and this office has like a little desk and it's a little nice workspace. I feel like this house is just so perfect. Um, it just has like everything that I need. So anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of work because 
I need to get it done. Oh, this is kind of cool. Actually, they have this little thing that you like flip over and I don't know how much time it is, but I think that that was kind of cool. Anyway, I'm gonna get some work done and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Ready to leave to go to the mirror maze, and then after that, we're gonna oh, go to. <laughs> we're trying to lock that door. By we, I mean Cameron. Um, and then after that, I think we're gonna do like a little shopping. It's raining right now, but not like terrible. It's just like a little bit of a drizzle. So, did you get it? No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we're getting ready to head out. I'm just like wearing the same like cozy fit that I was wearing before with my little tote. Um, Come here. Stop. Yeah. Cozy vibe this whole trip. Okay, thank you. Your man. set is so cute. It fits so perfectly with the thank woods you. and everything. Okay, come on. Mm -hmm. Your hands had the magic. So All right, we got this. Oh hell! No. <laughs> oh my god! Home. Wait, why did you do home? I thought it was lock. Right. I think that worked. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> almost didn't get them but then I tried them on and they fit and from looking at them I didn't think that they would fit because I wear a nine and a half and there are a nine so I thought they'd be too tight but they told me to try them on and I'm so glad that I did so yeah now I can get the pair of boots crazy we uh, ended up getting some boots and then we all <laughs> camera you're funny <laughs> three cars go fast yeah we're getting ready to go to the um, mirror maze and we got boots and we got like some touristy t-shirts so now we're gonna head to this mirror maze where we've never been you uh excited oh hey <laughs> you excited yeah of course I'll... i don't even know what it is to be honest like truly oops excuse me i have no idea but we'll see i guess once we get there than I thought we would. Yeah, that was fun. I know, it took us like, what, 10 scared. minutes or something? Honestly, you know what? I don't know if I should yeah. scary, but yeah, that's what they're getting me, and I'm like, oh, that's me. If, girl. Imagine if that had been bigger. See, like, no. if it had been bigger, we, I don't know, we, we would still be there, yeah. It was fun, though. It was only like $12, so it was really fun. And I'll have an excursion. Thank you. See, she knows my love language is words of affirmation. She's like, <laughs> gas me up the whole time. <laughs> because they said it's not a simulator, but it doesn't actually move. It doesn't move, okay. That yes, was no, that was for sure moving. I yeah, I can't, no, you're fine. Guys, it was definitely moving, and I feel like it moved, I mean, it didn't go up like a roller coaster, roller coaster, but it, it went up for sure. All right, what kind did you get? I got half face. Oh, that looks so good. Everything in it, salted caramel. Okay. Mine doesn't look great. good no more. What is yours? Um, 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 uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. <laughs> chocolate chip cookie dough. <laughs> non dairy. A healthy girl. Right, I should have got that. I got uh, a strawberry cheesecake, but this one's really good. That looks really good. I might regret it later, though. That looks good. Mm -hmm. I like a simple, like, strawberry little flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. It had a little, um, graham cracker crumbs in it. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. Thank you for the ice cream. Love you. Like, how? Yeah. So cute. 
Good morning. Today is the last day in um, the Smoky Mountains and I'm so sad. I am really excited to see Brady. It's wild that like we've been together for going on 11 years this year and I still like miss him when I'm gone. Like not like oh like I'm like a little sad like you know I'll see you when I get home like actually miss him. Like when we first started dating like miss him. Like that happens every time that we're away from each other so I don't take a ton of trips. Um, like for long periods of time when we're away from each other, usually like we take them together. But I have to remind myself sometimes like that's fine to like miss your husband. I feel like when I was younger, um, I would get a lot of like grief from people because they'd be like, oh my god, like you spend too much time together, like, you know, whatever. But I think that it's healthy to spend time with people you love, whether that's like your partner, your best friends, or whatever. And it's funny, I would spend so much time with my best friend, who was a girl, and I wasn't dating or in a romantic relationship, and no one ever said anything. No one was like, oh my god, you guys are together too much, you guys need to like, you know, have your own things, or whatever. Like, people were always just like, oh, like, where's Shay? Like, there's your other half. And, you know, it's just funny, like, how people view romantic relationships versus like different types of relationships. It does make me think a lot about like thinking about Brady and the relationship with him and the relationship with other friends. It makes me think a lot about how I like have really built so many friendships over the years. Like in the past, I struggled so much with friendship. Like I would literally cry like multiple times a week about how like I didn't have friends or whatever. And now like I wish I I don't know, I wish I could go back to that girl who's in her 20s and be like, girl, like, chill, you're gonna have friends, like, just work on yourself first. Um, and I don't think anyone ever tells people that. Like, I think we're constantly, like, encouraging people to go out and make friends and telling them, like, the tactical ways to make friends, which I can, like, share that too. But I think the first step in making friendships is, like, learning to love yourself and be comfortable in your own skin. And at the time, I was not, like, at all. I didn't have my own opinions. Like, I felt like if I shared my opinions and people didn't like them, that they wouldn't like me. And so I would try to conform to, like, how the people in my life were. Like, if they had an opinion, I'd, like, take that on as my own. And it's crazy because now I'm so, like, confident in, like, my own skin, confident in my voice. I'm also confident in... The fact that like if you don't like me like that's okay like we're I don't think we're created to like just be besties with every single person on the earth um and that's okay like if you don't like someone like it's totally fine but um I feel like the thing that people miss out on when they like try to tell or like give advice on how to build friendships is the piece of like loving yourself first because if you don't love yourself I do think that people can still love you like I think you can bring friends into your life but I almost feel like they're not the right ones because if you don't love yourself you're probably going to bring the people in your life that also don't love themselves um like I feel like at a time at that time back then I was really sad um I feel like I almost I don't know there was a lot of stuff I didn't work through and so I just feel like I did have some good friends and still do have some good friends from during that time but I feel like at the time I wasn't trying to grow so the friendships in my life were just different than the ones that I have now and thankfully a lot of the friends I have been have started their own healing journey and have started their own journey of growth so like thankfully you know we're still friends but like imagine if they had it and like I had grown and like you know became a different person like more confident in my own voice and more um assured in my own self starting to love myself and they stay the same if that had happened i feel like it would have been hard to continue to stay friends because like i'm in such a different headspace and like everyone is on their own path but like i feel like the people i want to surround myself with now are people that like want to have deep conversations about life and growth and love and at the time I definitely wasn't looking for that. I was like, who's gonna go party with me? Um, who's gonna do stuff with me? And um, you know, who's gonna fill the loneliness space in my heart that like I don't know how to fill on my own? And when I figured out how to fill that myself, then I started looking for friends that I wasn't necessarily trying to gain anything from. Like in the past, I feel like I was trying to get friends to fill something in me and 
now I look for friends solely based on the fact that I just want to add a relationship into my life, not necessarily like have them feel something in me, if that makes sense. And I think that we, people don't talk about that enough. Um, so I would say the number one thing that you need to do if you're wanting to build friendships is like work on yourself like so so much so heavily like and by work on yourself like if you don't know where to start like your healing journey I'll leave like a video below where I talked about like how I started my healing journey but a big thing is to go on solo dates um, and sit with the discomfort of like what you're struggling with if that makes sense um, and if you don't know what you're struggling with like, I feel like I always find things that I'm struggling with on the days that I'm frustrated. And usually if I'm frustrated about something, like let's say I spill my coffee or like, I don't know, I get stuck in traffic and I'm like getting like angry or frustrated. Usually the coffee and the traffic is irritating, but it's not something that's sending me over the edge. Usually there's like something else like deeper than that. And maybe it's like, you know, I am nervous about my job and like how people are going to treat me at work and they're treating me differently at work because I don't have the confidence to like be more assertive or self-assured or like, you know, there's just, there are so many layers to figuring out like how to work through things that maybe you never thought to work through and going on solo dates and also like trying to get to the root of a problem or a root of anger or frustration is like a really good way to start um and then after you get past like because I think I definitely still have things to work on but I feel like for the most part I have grown leaps and bounds with like learning who I am and being confident in myself um one thing that's also helped me build confidence is to make promises to myself and actually keep them so like if I say I want to go to the gym try to go to the gym um because i think when friends make promises to us and they keep them it builds our trust and confidence in them and i think it also does the same for ourselves um but a lot of the time we break promises to ourselves so we're like oh like it's whatever we could just like do something a different day but i think that it hurts our confidence because we lose the ability to, to like trust ourselves and even trust our own words sometimes um but after that, I'd say like the tactical ways to make friends would be, and I actually like made a whole video about this, so I will link that below, but the tactical ways to make friends or build friendships would be, one, you need to be like very intentional once you, once you get the friends, but if you don't have the friends yet, I would say go and do things alone. And I think when I do things alone by myself, people always come up to me, like all the time. Or if I see someone else, I'll like, go up to them and comment on like their shirt or like what I like what like gravitated me towards them whether it's their hair their smile I don't know something uh, I've met so many friends that way you guys know Nancy I met her that way I met Taylor by literally sending her a DM on Instagram and I think that's another good way to make friends like if you have an acquaintance that you kind of want to get to know better just be like hey like you seem like you have a cool vibe you want to go get coffee um I also met uh recently a girl named Lauren that way and I'm trying to think like I've just met a lot of people that way and I'll link the video below and like sh that has more tips and stuff in it but I think the first thing you need to do is like heal your own heart because you want the people the right people in your life because I feel like we can get all kinds of friends but we can get the ones who are gossipy who have no ability to talk about like depth and they only talk about like surface level things or um who only want to hang out with you in a specific space whether that's only going out or only going shopping and they don't want like all of you as a person um uh, and if that's what you're looking for that's fine i just feel like so many of us are looking for something a little bit deeper um and i feel like to find those deeper friendships you have to become a deeper person um and yeah so i hope that that was helpful um definitely something i've learned along the way but i will link the two videos below how I learned like how I started my healing journey and how um to build friendships because I have even more like tips and stuff in there you definitely have to be bold and it can be scary for sure but I think that that boldness and um confidence is easier to that boldness and confidence confidence kind of comes when you work on yourself if that makes sense so like the more you're working on yourself the more confident you are to be able to like step out and be bold and like send a dm to someone random you don't know or i don't know just like go up to someone random in the grocery store or coffee shop or whatever and compliment them on something and like try to connect with them and i don't know i think that when you're more self-assured you're less 
you're thinking less about what people think of you and more about like just what you actually want. So anyway, I'm gonna go outside and read for a little bit. Um, I haven't really read much on this trip because we've been like so busy and then on the times we're not busy, I'm like working or trying to sleep. So um, I wanna read for a little bit and then I'm gonna go upstairs and get my breakfast. Well now I'm trying to figure out Colleen Hoover book that I've read that you haven't read. It sounds like you've read all of them. Yeah, I'm running through them. Did you even remind me of that? Yep. You read that to her confess. She read Dance With Us, You Eat Number Nine. Which one? It starts with us? Yep, it starts with us. I read that. I've read a lot. Everyone said it wasn't good, but I liked it. No, I thought it ends with us. I didn't like it ends with us. Girl, I like it. I was on the beach. Maybe I was on the beach in 38 where you can cry. I was the army. I thought like, girl, you didn't get out of here. I was like, oh, look at the wind. Girl, you didn't even read the book. Please. My favorite is Reminder of the Yeah, that was That was so good. What's another one? I don't know. I really like it. Hopeless was really good. Yeah, I think it was well written. And I feel like she really, sometimes at the ending, you'd be like, girl, but I thought she did really good with that. like a writer and so she has like some health issues so she hires a ghost well technically her husband hires a ghost writer for her to finish a book that she started so the writer comes into Verity's house and her husband's house and lives there and starts finding out all this stuff about Verity about the family about the man as she's writing this book child. about yes child. all this stuff and it gets really crazy like yeah. yeah. Wow. It was probably, I said that's it. maybe my favorite one. Yeah, that's it's a good one. I have I own a lot. Like I own um Without Merit, I own um, Oh maybe I haven't someday. read that one. I haven't read that one either. Okay. Maybe someday I own Layla. I, maybe someday I haven't read that one either. And those are that's on my next one. That's on my next to read list. Yeah. So this one will be done. It's like we scraping those pieces of <laughs> You guys should comment below which Colleen Hoover book she should read and which one I should read it. Because yes. I don't have like one, well, Losing Hope is one that I have on my lineup because I haven't read that one yet. Yeah, I'm, I just very sorry. I've been reading it myself. I know, I haven't read like anything <laughs> here. We've just been, we've been busy but not really busy. Yeah. We just been like talking. Like there's really a time to just like pull out. Yeah. Going to the escape room, not like yeah. literally. I've never leaving. done one before, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, you're gonna have First fun. Time. I it's, kinda like stuff like this though. Yeah, yeah I feel yeah. like yesterday the little mirror maze. Yeah, was that was fun. fun. Yeah. Anything that's like a pre planned activity, like I live for that stuff. No, me too. Yeah. People think I'm, I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I have no shame. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> like, I don't care if it's kitty, I like, don't care. it's still like, fun. <laughs> literally. <laughs> oh my god, these oh, pants. Yeah. I think that's They're all, yeah. so cute. They're from Zara? Yeah. I need these. Wait, I feel like I'm <laughs> you are a cool girl. <laughs> oh my God, wow. And Dez has her boots on. No, really. So cute. <laughs> oh, I need these boots. I love that design. And your little freaking Lululemon matching set. <laughs> Everyone's got the vibes today. Tell you everything I've seen, the friends I've made, and then you tell me how you've been. Look a little closer. That was so hard. Was like, so hard. Like whenever he was like, "There's something in that tennis ball." I was like, "No, there's literally nothing. Like, like, there's nothing in there." <laughs> but there's some words that I just wanted. Excited to come in and do a little wine tasting. Our first class. 
This is the Pinot Grigio. You get to try like 14 different types of wines for $5. It's wild. Hey. We got the accents coming out and everything. They're like, be hot, let's get on. 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 let us get on 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 let us
It's my last day here. Well, not day. I'm actually literally getting ready to leave right now. And I'm so sad. I feel like this trip has been everything that I needed and more. And I definitely want to keep doing these. I usually bring around like the same group every year. It's the third year. Um, and I definitely want to continue to add in the line dancing. I'm so tired because we had the best time last night. Like, literally, this whole trip has just been a dream and I feel like I've made so many memories and one thing that I feel like I'm learning is that the more new experiences I bring into my life like the more exciting it will feel and I feel like when I go back home I want to find somewhere to line dance and like go line dancing because it was literally everything um also like the wine tasting was nice and I have to remind myself that like I literally have a lot of these things at home like wine tastings and um cider tastings line dancing like all that stuff is like either at home or like near home so i just need to like take advantage of it but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really did i will link everyone below so you guys can follow all of them um they're all incredible and a lot of them are on you actually every single person who's here on this trip is on youtube um so i'll also link their um youtube so you can like watch their videos because they also were vlogging so you'll be able to see like their side of the trip and their experience and yeah it's just been so fun and i can't wait for next year so yeah um i will have another video up shortly after this one you guys know my videos are up on tuesday thursdays and saturdays and i gotta hit the road so i will see you guys in the next one bye guys